guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today i am so excited to be sharing all of may new releases um these kits are beautiful we actually have five kits this month so i'm really excited to show all of them to you guys so let's go ahead and get right into it so for may as you guys may know if you are part of the erin Condren. Um, following you know that May in their planners is peach and I love peach I feel like that's one of my favorite colors to use in kits so that is what we did so here is the May budget kit so you have a light peach color here and then like a darker peach for the scripts and that's what all of the budget kits will look like so definitely a really pretty like summery type of feel for the budget kits um, and for kit 90 in general, the um, print and pattern that we use is something that coordinates so well with this, but also um, is something that I've like been looking at like pattern wise for so long and I am so excited that I get to use it in this uh, month. So here it is. It's just a combination of these really pretty florals with the peach and other colors and then the wood grain, which I think looks so cute. And the nice thing about this print in spe like specifically is that um, with this kit, you're not getting too much of that peach. Like I feel like there's a really good mixture of different colors as well as the peach. So I love that. If I'm talking a little weird, it is because I got my new retainers and they are very painful and definitely very different from the aligners that I'm used to. And then for the expense tracking stickers, you'll get a combination of all the colors that are in the washi. So just a really fun, um, more colorful um, option for the budget kits so that is everything i have to show you guys for the budget kits i do have um, a complete kit for this month so if you're wanting to pick up a complete kit there will be one for the seven by nine option um i do offer stickers in both or in seven by nine eight and a half by eleven and also petite and a5 so lots of options there but that is what the budget kits are going to look like for this month now moving on to the um kits we do have five kits this month um so i'm going to go through all of them i only pulled a handful of the stickers but um i do have like weekly kits i have daily duo kits a5 daily duo kits i have monthly um kits i have dashboard kits we even have washi like washi tape so definitely like if you're interested in a specific pattern or kit what i always recommend doing is just typing in the search bar the kit number so for example the one i'm about to show you is going to be kit 90 and then you'll see everything that goes along with kit 90. Um, it's just a great option if you're wanting you know some other types of stickers or washi tape or whatever so as you probably can expect, kit 90 is going to be that same pattern. I, again, fell in love with this kit. I love the washi, but then I think that it looks so pretty paired with that like rustic wood color. So that is what kit 90, the sampler, is going to look like. I also pulled the full boxes for you guys um, this time because I felt like the full boxes were so pretty. Here's kit 90's full boxes. So again, you get that really pretty wood. I always think when I'm designing these kits, like how I would use them. And I know I always pull these two sheets when I am pulling um, for my plan with me's. And I feel like this would be really cute on the bottom. And then this would look really cute like pa um, paired up with the weekend banner. You can like do that kind of off to the side. I think that would be really, really pretty. So that, um, that is those two. And then we're gonna get into the add-ons. So we have the date covers here. <clears throat> okay, so those are the date covers. And then we have the icons, the scripts, The ombre boxes. We have the event stickers. The decorative boxes. The basic boxes. The other functional stickers. So you have like the two tone labels, the check boxes, the um, double flag. 
the sidebar, the check boxes, and then the horizontal check boxes and full box. So that is kit 90. Um, kit 90 does not have any um, like clip art or anything like that. So um, we don't have anything like that to show you guys, but there is washi tape. So definitely check that out if you are interested in washi tape. But that is kit 90. So let's move on to kit 91, which is actually my Mother's Day kit. <clears throat> okay, so for the Mother's Day kit, I wanted to do something very, like, beautiful. Um, I wanted it to be, like, I don't know, I, I just wanted to have a feel, and I felt like this really pulled that together. So you have this really beautiful floral washi with, like, the white background, which I love. The full box is this really pretty like watercolor behind it and then this little circle with the floral accents that says happy mother's day there's like really pretty peach colors and then you have the green as well which i feel like ties so well into the washi um over here this box here says happy mother's day so you can use this like on your sidebar and then this could be like on the actual day so that is what 91 looks like and then um, this is going to be the full boxes. So again, just a really a pretty assortment of all of the patterns. You could use this like if you don't celebrate Mother's Day or let's say you like buy this kit, but then you want to use it again. The nice thing about it is that like, you know, there's not too much on here that talks about Mother's Day. There's two things. Um, so I try when I'm making my kits, especially when it comes to like special events to make it so that you don't have to use it just for that um there would be two boxes that you wouldn't be able to use in this case but if you pair it with the full boxes you'd have lots of options there so those are those two then we have the date cover so you have that really pretty darker peachy color and then we have the icons the mix scripts the ombre boxes, the event stickers, you have the decorative boxes, the basic boxes, the um, miscellaneous other functional stickers, the sidebar, which again, like if you paired the sidebar with this kit, like you could make it unrelated to Mother's Day. I really love how this looks. The check boxes, Here's the horizontal check boxes and full box. So again, I always try and like mirror um, with the full boxes for the sampler. And then we have some deco. Again, not specific at all to Mother's Day, um, but a great option if you are looking for something for Mother's Day. Because I feel like it, like even the subtle pieces of, you know, Happy Mother's Day, I feel like that goes a long way. So I'm definitely planning on using it for Mother's Day. Okay, now... For the kit that I think me and my brother are most excited about, I always ask him like what his favorite is when I design it, and this was by far his favorite, which is a really pretty like bees and honey kit. This is definitely like lighter tones. It never comes off great on camera, but um, they are darker like in person than on camera. So you have this really pretty washi that has like this blue grayish tone and then you have the beehives with the bees i love that you have like little florac floral accents the full box just says honey for sale which is so cute and then you get all of these really pretty clip arts on the boxes so that is 92 um i'm obsessed with these full boxes i love how decorative they are um so you have some like regular decorative boxes and then you have some with like the clip art and then some that like you can actually write on a little bit more um how thinking cute is that so anyway i'm obsessed with this kit this is probably one of my all-time favorite kits so um that is that and then for the add-ons we have the date covers which is again more of that like bluish color again it's on on camera it does not pick up the true colors but I feel like when I tilt it this way you can kind of see it a little bit better then we have the icons 
again same thing here you're not really going to be able to see the colors that great but if you tilt it you can see that they are darker in in person so um you have the scripts you have the full the ombre boxes which i love that it's like that yellow color we have the event stickers the decorative boxes the basic boxes the other functional stickers and then we have this really cute sidebar my brother says this is like one of his favorite um sidebar options he loves that little cute display the check boxes the horizontal check boxes and full box and then this really cute thing of art clip art I love this. I think it's going to be so cute in all of your guys' planners. I'm, like, honestly obsessed with this kit. I cannot wait to use it. And if you check out the washi tape, I don't have it with me right now, but if you check out the washi tape, the washi tape is so sinking cute and goes really, really well with this. Okay, so next is going to be the Memorial Day kit. Um, this kit is, like, designed to be for Memorial Day, but honestly, I feel like you could use it for any, like... American holiday like where you're celebrating America um, So here it is you get this really pretty washi that has these mason jars with florals that says USA And then the full box has another mason jar that says USA Again the reason why I said you could use it really anytime you could use this like for 4th of July Is because the only thing that really says Memorial Day right here is Happy Memorial Day So just one little box there but I love all the clip art like this cute little cow is adorable So that is what the sampler page will look like for 93 And then the full boxes here again I just love all of this clip art so I was excited to use it so you have regular um boxes there and then you have some clip art boxes and then more like of the functional ones where you could write on so really cute and then we have the add-on so we have the day covers in red i don't use red very often but i feel like for memorial day fourth of july stuff like that you have to um we have the icons the mixed scripts the ombre boxes. There's a lot of blue in the kit, so I wanted to bring in red as much as possible. Um, we have the event stickers, the decorative boxes, the basic box boxes, the other functional items. We have the sidebar, the check boxes. Um, here we have the horizontal check boxes and full box and then the deco or clip art so super cute i love it i think it's going to be a really cute addition to this kit so that is 93 and then for the that very last kit 94 i mentioned this in my date in the life but this is more of a graduation themed kit although i think again i designed it in a way that if you wanted to use it for something other than um graduation you could I'm going to warn you guys, this is very different from the graduation kits that you normally would see. I'm not a fan of, like, the black, gold, and, like, silver type of thing. It's just not my style. Um, I feel like, especially for, like, one day of a graduation, I don't want my entire spread to be that when I'm not a huge fan of those colors. So, when you guys see this, you'll understand that, like, this is very much my style. So, hopefully, you guys like that as well. So here it is. So for the washi, you get this really pretty floral. Um, and then the full box says class of 2022 with more floral accents. Super cute. Um, here it says graduation day and has a little cap, which I think is adorable. But you can see like this kit besides those two things, like you could use this for something other than graduation. I just felt like this um sampler page along with some of the other boxes and stuff that i have like you could definitely make it very like much a graduation kit but i tried to leave it open so that if you liked the patterns and colors and you wanted to use it for something else or if you wanted to have leftovers and use it again it wouldn't have to be just for graduation but um this full box is what made me absolutely fall in love with this kit so that is 94 sampler for the full boxes, we have this here. So again, not all of it has to do with graduation. You can see this one here is like a cute little kitty 
with a graduation cap and it says motivated, educated, graduated. Um, this one here says grad 2022 and then there's like hello future. But besides that, like it's not all graduation themed. So I think you could make it um, work for graduation. I think you could also make it just for like a girl boss type of thing like this. Um, some of these are like, you know, not very specific to graduation. But that is the full boxes. And then we have the date covers here in that really pretty blue. We have the icons, the scripts, the ombre boxes, the event stickers, the decorative boxes, the basic boxes, the um, other miscellaneous functional stickers. Here's the sidebar so you can use this if you like that little cat scene for graduation. We have the check boxes, the hour, or sorry, horizontal check boxes and full box. And then here is where you could make it a little bit more like graduation themed if you're wanting to with this little banner here with this little flat lay. So just a cute option for graduation. Again, I know it's not like the typical graduation themed, but um, I feel like it's definitely more my style and more of what I would want if I was going to have someone graduating. So um, one thing to say with this kit, with kit 94, this is a limited kit. So um, you will not see a monthly view option for it. You will not see dashboard pages for it. You will not see thick and thin washi. Um, you will not see washi tape. So it's going to be basically um, what would be op available for like the weekly kits and then what would be available for the daily duo kits and that's about it. Um, when I did a poll on Facebook, on Facebook, it didn't seem like that many people were going to need a graduation kit. So this was, we like did limited stock and also we did not make like um, all the extra like monthly kids dashboard stuff all of that so um, anyway that is it for today that's all I have to show you guys I hope you guys really enjoyed all of the kits I'm obsessed with them I'm so excited for May to be able to use them um, I already designed and um, sent out the washi for June and let me tell you June is going to be just as beautiful um, so yeah, anyway, don't forget to pick up your May kits tomorrow when they are available. They will be up on Friday. Um, and then the following week is mystery kit release. And let me tell you guys, this mystery kit is so pretty. I feel like it's going to be perfect for every single person out there. Um, so don't miss this one. I'm telling you, this one is a really fun one. Um, and you guys will see that later on because I definitely already have a plan for when I'm going to be using that mystery kit. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out the new releases in the Etsy shop tomorrow on Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.